Hello, welcome to week four of Grand Campaign. Uh, today is the fight over Richmond. Um, I think it is 13th George's token versus one of the Wisconsin regiments. Probably 15th if I could guess. Um, we are going to figure out what maps are here in a second. Map number one, it should be Schoolhouse Ridge. Um, there will be no cannons for the CSA as a card was played for it. Um, map two will be Shenandoah Street, and only two flags in total for the U.S. Either way, big maps here. They need to take back the capital of Richmond. It is an important victory point. So, big game overall. First map should be Schoolhouse Ridge. Uh, might have a wrong map. We'll see here in a second. And here we are at the start of the first round, Schoolhouse Ridge. I feel like this map's been played a lot recently, but uh, we should have um, people spawning in here in a second. Should be a pretty well played map here. I don't know how. Um, the Union plans on playing this. I'm not sure what the token strength is, so if it is strong, they will most likely try to hold it. There you go, you got the Confederates spawning here. So we got the 13th Georgia led by Pearl today. 42nd PA led by Tyndall. Uh, and uh, also, <laughs> and then you also got CQB led by Doug. And HD led by Coach. Over to the other side. Union regiments today. Uh, already uh, on point. Here, as it is their defensive map. You got Killer on point here, uh, leading A and V. You have uh, uh, Lucian leading 15th Wisconsin. You have uh, Ollie leading. Ninth Corps, uh, Graham leading 32nd Ohio, and I'm I don't know who's leading first Delaware today, but they probably should be somewhere around. It's usually Bus and PA led by Ninja. MWB seem to be led by Foam as well, but. You should see the CSA moving in here pretty soon. They might try to pop off a couple volleys from the back, but we'll see what happens here. They don't have guns on this first map, so very important map to have cannons on. And there's none there for them, so. Yeah, you could hear Liz in the background. Uh, Pearl here heading in. Uh, first with 13th Georgia, followed by Hoods. Looks like they're just going to get straight into the massacre here. There's going to be a lot of people falling here. They only got one, it looks, it sounds like. Oh, two. Not bad first, but they still got another volley probably on the way here pretty soon as all the Union has taken that, that side of point. Don't think there's any regiment trying to go around. Yeah, they're all taken just straight up here. More people falling here. This is where it starts to get bloody for the CSA here. Hug defense. Jumping over, gonna cross the river. I, I don't know how close they're gonna end up getting here. Are they just gonna try to get right up into their face? And down goes Pearl. Six Alabama going in first. And it looks like they are just gonna try to charge and get right up into the fence, force the other side to retreat. But a lot of them are gonna fall on this. 13 George taking the fence with Hood's division and Six Alabama followed by the rest of the CSA here. It is just bloody. Keep leaving fence stands in you. But it seems like uh, so far the Confederates are doing a pretty good job. A lot of Union dead here on the fence. It is not getting any less bloody. I think the CSA is probably just going to take this from off the bat. 
still a lot of them left down here. And not as many Union guys here. And V seems to be the last ones on point with leftovers from the uh, team for Wisconsin. Down here, we have Nightcore's flag is just retreating on his own. I, I think they wiped out every Richmond other than A and B. And PA actually in the back. They're coming, boys. I've seen them all coming. Like A and B trying to push the other side of them. I don't know. That I think is not very sided towards A and V here. This could be a hard one for them to win. Basically, not a lot going on. No one's pushing that side. Give them time for reinforcements to get back. Yeah, uh, you'll see reinforcements start to flood in from uh, Confederate spawn and Union spawn here pretty soon. Already got a couple groups moving down. Fighting on point is still holding strong here, and Union took hella casualties there, as you can see from the top. You now have CQB getting around here. CQB and a little bit of hoods getting around the uh, Ohio here and uh, first Delaware. Here's just a mix of everybody. But they also got to watch out from their back here pretty soon. They have a lot of Union reinforcements coming in. Got to be careful of that. CSA is also arriving in heavy numbers here, so Killer's got to be paying attention for that here. Thank you, Killer. Worth it. Confederate's still holding strong from where they were, but I don't know how long that's going to last here with Union getting up into the fence. First Delaware here. Going to drop down into uh, engaged here pretty soon for the Union, and CSA won't be far behind. They ended me pulling back a tiny bit here. I think they were they got pushed off the fence here by 13. It's not even really this is not a regiment anymore. It's just a group of random people from different regiments fighting together as the rest of their team is coming back from spawn. They will be arri arriving here in mass numbers here. They're all arriving separately, which is not good. It's given the CSA time to chew away at what they have. 13th pushing over the fence to charge out what's remaining over here. I don't. This is not looking good here. There goes the flags. Gonna try to pick them back up, but see. Yeah, 13th is still right in their face. More flags dropping for the Union. I think they're just gonna pull back. Cater drops a flag. And then Cater drops a person. <laughs> Let's see over here. Has it gone? Seems like Union pulled off to the right here. Um, got ninth core and 15th here. Actually, again, another mix of every regiment over here. Fighting against what seems to be 42nd PA and Hoods. I think they're both taking an equal amount of casualties here, but there you go. Uh, Union dropped down into engaged. CSA has completely wiped out everything that was down here before, which is very good for them. They had to have a lot of kills already here, so good start off for them. 13th getting around the side of all the people in the field. Again, they, wow, 9th floor and whatever was over here before has already gotten dropped. Probably be more bodies, but I had to turn them off. There was a lot of people here before. That, that's that's it. Union's pretty much completely gonna pull back off point almost here. Oh no, points over here. So yeah, he's, they still sitting directly below, but they pulled way off from the tree over here where they were holding before. Not a lot of CSA guys coming from spawn. I mean, there's probably one regiment here. And other than that, it looks like they're holding pretty strong up front. That's CQB getting back up into the front line. They're just taking free shots here. I mean, pretty good position for them to hold here. And you can also hear Liz singing. 
so much to do, so much to see, but so long we're taking the back streets. You'll never know if you don't go. This would be a whole segment of this, is just Liz singing. Yeah, and 6th Alabama over here now supporting 13th. They have this entire uh, snake fence there just lined up with people, just shooting everybody in the field. And it's good for them because these people are all really spread out. Those are all skirmishing tickets, but a line here cresting. Seems as if we got A and V cresting over the hill here. Didn't see many of them fall there. Pulling back behind to get safe cover though, so smart decision there by Killer. Didn't see really many casualties over on the snake fence there. I think it's a hard position for both of them to shoot at, but that is probably what's going to be better for them is the rocks. Even though they're really far away, they have hard cover to get behind. Even over there, you could see another uh, Union group, but there's a lot of guys behind some rocks being able to just shoot down on point. Who's over here? Yeah. yeah first Delaware. Getting into the side actually this is a really good position for him. Well, it seems like a couple people have fallen here, but they've Drive probably dropped the a lot more. See all the shots just from the floor out in front of people sometimes over here. There goes a flag. Oh wow. Somebody's dropping these guys. I'm not sure which group it is, but a couple of them shooting at them, so it could be pretty much anyone. Over here, back at Hoods. Hoods is still fighting the fence here. Oh, and Union crossing the road. Who's over here? Getting right up into the face of 42nd PA, who just lost their flag. Picked it back up. And they also lost an officer there. You got two regiments against just 42nd PA here. This is not going to be an easy battle for them to win if they can. They, they might need to pull back here. They both... They, oh, yeah, there's a lot of them here waiting for them. Even a, a third regiment waiting up the hill. And I think they know that, but a Rambo gets killed here. wonder who that was. Giving them tickets already. Two really big regiments strong here, just chewing up everything down in this river down here. 42nd has taken some major casualties down here and lost both their officers. I wonder how much longer they're going to sit here for. You got another regiment headed down the hill. Who could this be? I think Georgia getting up nice and close to him. Right up next to MVB, who's very clamped clamp up on this street. There it is. Is there a tree? And here comes 13th. They're moving closer, but they're also getting into the fences. And there goes MWB as they retreat back. PA is falling back on the other side of the road, too. And I think uh, point is now being taken by the Confederates here. Shouldn't be any decay. I think there's just more of them on point. A uh, different unit pulled back. Um, I think this. Yeah, that's uh, 6 Wisconsin. Raining hell on everybody below them. And the Ohioans are pulling back. And we're staying strong along with PA. 42nd PA and CQB and Hoods and 13th are all pretty far up here. They're going to keep on getting in their face. And they're definitely about to take this point here pretty soon. What do we got going on at the end here? Killer. Seems like they have a little bit of a misconception. I think they were shooting at each other there. Yeah. 32nd Ohio and uh, ANV just had a mishap there. It looks like a lot of uh, ANV guys had fallen from that. I think they thought there were some Confederates down there, but that only helps the CSA here, who is half point and started the timer. They're also about to fall down to engaged here, making this battle pretty close. Still got first Delaware, I think, up at those rocks. Which is still another really good position. They could just shoot down on 13th here. Of 
42nd PA up front here, taking some casualties too. Forty second going back into the river where they were before. Oh, passing the river. We're gonna try to get into the forest there. They still have two units on this wall here, Killer and uh, 32nd Ohio. And 32nd Ohio still shooting down at PA. And Looks like they're hitting a couple shots down there, but now uh, they have the rocks, which is a nice thing to have. Sixth Alabama down here too a little bit, it seems like. You got 13th and Hoods. CQB, I believe. I know CQB is in here. So just Hoods and 13th uh, stacked up into this fence now. It almost looks like they're shooting at each other, but they're not. 13th pulling back. This division, I think, might be shooting up the hill, but I don't see those Union guys anymore. Oh, they're behind them. 13th moving to intercept here. Oh, no. Entire volley, they got three to four people down there, and now Delaware has the fence. So we're just gonna move closer to that, along with some more people on the other side of the road. Um, got some Hoods Division and 13th turning around. You're keeping the other part of Hoods up front. Uh, heck, they're back. I don't know how long first Delaware will be able to uh, be able to last here, as they're heavily outnumbered, and they're already pulling back. All the way across the hill, this could be bad for him. Flag goes down. First mind the officers down. Four people left. Oh no. They're down to four. Five? Yeah, they're down to five. That was some rough losses there. Beautiful for the CSA though. There goes CSA down a stage, but Union's already halfway through engaged here, so they're falling behind faster and faster each time. CQB getting right up into AMB's face here, along with 15th Wisconsin. There's a lot of people for uh, CQB to be taken on, and it seems like they've pulled back. Oh no, that's Hoods. Where does CQB go? I think they may have gotten wiped here. We got 42nd PA still here in the woods shooting. Those are CSA guys though, so they gotta be careful. Hopefully no uh, team kills happen there. Sixth Alabama is just getting around them too. There's nobody even right in front of them, so they could do some damage here to A and V and 15th. And Hood's still doing lots of damage to 15th already. 13th also in the side of them. And little do I know, there is a Union group about to charge 13th, I think. Here, first Delaware is back. And they're headed down the fence. I'm not sure if 13th notices. Oh, Pearl does. Oh, no. And again, 13th gets to set up a defensive position on uh, first Delaware here. Could be a lot of casualties for him, and it looks like you got a first sergeant charging on his own here. This is an out of line ticket, and here's the rest of first Delaware moving down the fence. There's not too many of them still, so oh, and hoods the hood skirmish group coming out from behind and just stabbing a couple of them. And Liz is apparently gonna fuck their dad, but he is then killed. But there's only Four Delaware guys left, and they might have to pull back here again. But 13th is in a charge now with uh, 10th Alabama, so they're in a charge with A&V, 6th Wisconsin. They're all getting into 13th's back because they were focusing on the other group. But will uh, 42nd PA and the other groups capitalize on this? Hood's division does hop over the fence. They're going to try to help out with uh, PA, but it looks like... Uh, the CSA was all but wiped here. Or at least 13th was, but Delaware's back again. And a different CSA group from before. You got CQB back again. Just in time for reinforcements. And you still have 42nd PA, who looks like they just wiped out the Wisconsin boys. They're going to move down here and try to help out with uh, the remainder of A&V and 1st Delaware and 9th Corps here. 
HUD still remains uh, in bits and pieces. Looks like the uh, skirmish group that charged in uh, did not make it back. I think Kindle might sh uh, shift them right here sometime soon, or they might just take shots out on the field at all these reinforcements. They're coming in in pieces again, which is just not healthy for the Union. They're already down another stage from the uh, Union guys here. That's five tickets. And oh my god, that Union force at the top. That's how you need to move right there. Don't know where CSA reinforcements are, but they are coming up separated. So you got 13th Georgia, uh, Pearl in the back, and then followed by Coach, along with more 13th Georgia boys. I think that's it for, or mostly it for CSA uh, reinforcements, but Union's still running down that hill strong. CSA charges out. Oh, everything that happened over here. So that was a good charge by CQB. It caught me off guard there. But again, another regiment down the hill here. You got 15th Wisconsin back and strong here. And you get right down into the mess that's going on. Um, I didn't see too many people fall there, but it was a good volley. And they're falling back. Seems like Ninth Corps, ca uh, Ninth Corps captain is here as well, and more Union on the other side. Who's this? This is Killer, I believe. Killer's gonna get around him. Good Jester sees him! Good Jester drops Killer, and gets killed right after. And here comes Hood's division and the uh, remainder of 13 to take on A and V and PA from the front. And Snap goes down. And here comes more units. There's so many more CSA here. I don't think uh, a &V can win this one just by how much they're outnumbered. But it looks like they're getting more support as Bus is headed in. And Bus is taken out quickly, though. Ollie's falling in, though, with his uh, Ninth Corps guys. This could support him. They need a revolver in here. Ollie gets up into it, but is instantly killed. They don't get the revolver down into it. There's not much Union left down here. There goes the flag. And Pearl is charging over now to get rid of the remainder, guys. Doesn't look like he has his revolver anymore, either. Stabs them. Down to the other end. Uh, big cannon shot there. Holy shit. You got a lot of uh, guys taken out there from 42nd and CQB. And... Union retreating back over the hill. I don't think they want to take too many more casualties, but it, there's three minutes left, and they gotta get back. They gotta get back and take this point. And it seems like a lot of guys are just up here and turning around. I'm not sure if they want it. I don't know what the Union strategy here is, but they are all pulling back to a defensive position up this hill. That killer at the top. Maybe they're just trying to get their full kits for a final charge here, see what they could do, but that is a strong CSA team on point right now, and they don't really have many reinforcements coming in, so that's that's the entire CSA down there. Seems like they're ready here. ANV is ready. The team beside them also looks pretty ready here. Here they go. The mass charge of the Union. Good positioning for the CSA. Cannonballs even flying down here. But CSA does get a shoot at them as they have to charge all the way down the hill. So this is a beautiful position for them. You'd already hear the casualties. People getting shot. Oh no. I think they can make it though. Still got first Delaware I think over here. Yeah, bus is still on the left side here supporting them from the rocks. I don't know if they're going to join in on this charge. It looks like they will be. Yeah, I was going to check if that was friendly or not. And people already dropping like flies. I just heard at least three people die there. There's only one regiment out in front of them here. And there goes Killer leading the charge. And just lots of people falling here. I don't know if they'll be able to make it to... 
point in full strength here. Doesn't look like the rest of the CSA has shifted left though. 13th is still the people out in front of uh, the entire Union. And they are coming in strong here. No revolvers, but looks like 13th is bracing the fence from 1st Delaware. And there you go. Union is now in breaking. And here is going to be the bloodiest part of the battle here. Who watches? CSA guys are getting stabbed. And shot. Any support coming from the left? Yeah, Hood's shifting over. And 13th shifting the opposite direction. They're trying to get out of there. They only need to hold for 33 more seconds here. I, I'm surprised they're not all... Uh, they are all under point. Forgot that it's so left on this map. They're just going to hold the point. They only got to hold for 22 more seconds, and they still have most of their boys here. Yeah, there's not a lot of Union left, but they are going to trickle in from spawn. And even a CSA regiment out in the uh, field to slow them down here. Who is this? 6th Alabama trying to slow down the uh, Union attack. Stopping some A&V guys from going down the hill. They missed the shot, though. And now they're going to charge in the back here, and there's the game. Good win by the uh, Confederates here with no arty. A good game there. We're gonna see what these casualties are here in a second. Good casualties. That first charge appeared to do a lot of damage to the Union, but they mostly stay even here in casualties, it looks like. As the Union caught up to the CSA towards the end. But still, uh, it starts to slip away a little bit more. 651 to 543, that is a bloody match down there. Over a thousand deaths. Out of line seemed to do a lot of damage to the Union there. As they, as we saw they were trickling down into point. People would get shot. It was out of lines that they had to take. On to the next map. Should be Shenandoah Street, I believe. Yep, Shenandoah Street. Special thing here. There's only two flags allowed for, I think, the Union side. It could be Confederate side. That's a hard uh, task to have. Two flags is not enough for the entire team. And yeah, Shenandoah Street seems to be the map. Let's see here in a second. Let's start, guys. Let's try not to clump it up, guys. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. We got a big group coming this way. That's all. Full lift in the end.
Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Oh, God. one. Step on my exit muted. 13 tops into the river. I'm um, taking out the side of all those units in that hole. That is just a clump of people. It, it should be pretty easy shots for anyone down there. But also, people peeking around that corner are gonna get killed. And you can see that they have lost a lot of numbers right there. But they will be able to get pretty easily reinforced as their spawn is pretty nearby. You can see as a group try, A and V is getting into the side of uh, Sixth Alabama. It was where Thirteenth is was standing, but they are gone now. They have hopped out of that spot. Gareth and Nightshade taking the front here, and it seems like they have done a pretty good job of wiping out Sixth Alabama. But they then have to worry about the Thirteenth guys in front of them, which they don't have enough people to take on here. Lost most of them in the first charge, and it seems like they know that. Killers retreating now. But a couple of uh, other Union guys are going to stay back. Give up the out-of-line tickets to the Confederacy, which is not something they need again. And it looks like uh, CSA is in the lead here, only by a little bit, but close match right now. And it does look like they're pretty close to getting a point here. But again, no flag. I guess this is a good map for no flag, because if it was one of those big maps... I'm not sure which side isn't allowed to have flag. CQB still popping shots at... Dever under there. Who's that? You got the hood skirmish unit charging through. Led by Liz saying she's gonna fuck their dads. But they got, uh, they got wiped pretty fast there. There's too many guys still still remaining over there. Even some people in the yard here. This might work for them. They could shoot through these fences. I don't know if they know that. He's gonna hide behind the tree. They can kill a couple of people here. All they have to do is shoot through it. Will he take notice of it? First sergeant moving up. He kills a guy. He does notice. Rose takes advantage of the fence there. Seems like more people are going to try to as well. Getting more reinforcements from the side. And V or and V is getting more reinforcements over on the point. But PA and 15th over here are holding pretty strong behind this fence. Just trying to kill everything down the river. 13th, 42nd PA. There's a lot of competitors just on this side of the map. It seems like they're also taking bits and pieces of the road here. But they are in a skirm with Delaware guys. Who are just shooting them through the fence. And it looks like these guys are about to shoot through the fence and kill their own guys. I, think there's a comp I don't know if they're going to get a friendly fire mishap here. But they are shooting at their own guys. And CSA drops first. 
Union taking the lead. I'm not sure if the Union knows that they're shooting at their own guys right now. They're not shooting Confederates. But again, here is a strong group of people here. You got Hood's division right in the center. And they have cleared most of this part right here. Everybody's had to go to the side. They're getting cramped between these two houses and leftover units over here just chewing away at them. You still have a lot of Union guys all the way back. You got AMV way in the back behind the Wisconsin boys. Got Hoods moving in further. I think they're... Hoods is trying to charge out point. Liz back for round two. And she did not fuck their dads again. Seems like six Wisconsin and some AMV guys came into their back and just clean point. 13th here, getting through the uh, yard here, which seems like 15th is just waiting for there. And they're coming in pieces too. There's two of them left now. Slade and Eagle just they just gotta get out of there. It's an out of line ticket if they die, and that looks like 13th is all but wiped over here. But another big charge coming from down the road is CQB and 42nd PA and 6th Alabama are all coming down into point. And they're going to try to get into the side of these guys. And it might work here. There's not many Union guys left. And another group in the road, the rest of 13th is coming back here. Are they going to support the charge? 6th Alabama is pieces here. They're in, in bits and pieces. CQB as well. Here you go. Here comes 13th to get into the back of the re rest of the troops here to support this charge. And Union also rushing in with Lucian. There's not a lot of Confederate guys here to support this. They need to get up fast. More people flooding into the yard. And here comes Lucian. And his guys, 15th, coming around the corner. Killer also getting into their side. And it seems like Pearl falls, but so does Killer. Officers are going to be important here. There's going to be some close-range battle here. And it's pretty heavily contested by both sides here. I mean, CSA is just going to start flooding in, in here any second, though, because Union just got a couple of guys just got wiped. And here comes the remainder of the Union. CQB and uh, 6 Alabama back from their original charge and hoods. They gotta be careful for no team kills here. I think a couple of them just fell to team kill. But this is a bloody, bloody street right here. And it looks like these Confederates are here to take point again, but they are almost dropped another stage. Union took half, a st uh, more than half of their stage away too. But CSA now pulling off point. I think they're gonna try to get off cap here. Try to play for later game, but PA still taking some skirm shots into him here, so they're going to take some casualties on the fallback. They all go back into the road at the same time. I don't know if there's anyone here to shoot them. No, but bits and pieces of Union guys. And CSA still caps. Don't think they were ready for that. Maybe they were, but they were trying to pull back pretty heavily there. And now they are just coming back to the wall. It seems like they're having issues with the alleyway. <laughs> and 15th Wisconsin taking the left side of it with Killer. And these guys. They're going to go around the left here. Probably try to get into the side of the Confederacy. I'm not sure how many guys they'll be able to see, though. They do have 6th Alabama guys who are going to try to get over the fence, I believe. Oh, wow. And here comes the mass movement of the troops. Killer coming around the corner. And Jackson sees it. Jack in, my bad. Fuck. And he's killing a couple of them, but not enough damage. 15th going, or NV going around the corner with 15th. And they're going to shoot into the yard. And 13th and Hoods don't even know about it. QB also in the mix. They're going to get shot in the side. And it's just through a fence. And there goes the Confederates taking losses, followed by the Union, not far behind, actually. 
Union guy's hopping over. I'm, that is not the smart move, but they did kill three before they got five tickets taken away, so I'm not sure if that's worth it. And apparently Liz will still fuck my dad, but we'll see. Look at that strong Union force here. A lot of a lot of uh, Confederacy still here in this yard as well, and they're gonna. I don't know how long they'll be able to hold this war, but they are gonna be taking casualties the entire time they're in there. Six Alabama gonna shoot between the cracks to the unknowing Union. Oh no! And they did take a couple cat. I don't think they've noticed yet. They're just sitting there, not unknowing of what's behind them. Cloud and Cloud and the rest of his guys are doing great here. They are just shooting into him and they don't even know what's happening. But they they just killed at least six people that were sitting in that corner. And I don't know if they know that anyone's left, but there's only one remains in there and he might get shot. There he goes. Entire alleyway cleaned out by hoods and the six Alabama guys there. But again, this yard has gotten noticeably weaker. There is down to tiny amounts of people in there and I think it is almost time for the Union to retake. I think they noticed that too now with the point being uh, decayed and now as there are no CSA guys there left anymore. Yeah, the rest of the 13th and uh, 42nd and CTV guys are pulling back to spawn it seems like to get healthy. But the street skirm happening now with CQB. And people falling everywhere but it looks like the Union actually has cover here. Oh, and a charge I did not see happening. Looks like the Union when he got around the side as they were trying to before. I think the Wisconsin's now in the, in the back part of this map. And here comes 13th and Hoods to help push 15th out. And honestly, good hold by the uh, guys that were originally here. I think it was 6th Alabama and CQB. Was it Hoods? It's one of the two. It might have been all of them, to get some pieces of them at least, but they, there was a lot of people over here that held that and it was a good hold. And I think 15th, yeah, the remainder of 15th is pulled back over to point, which no one has capped yet, actually. They're leaving it to the Confederates to keep, on, or keep the cap going, I'm not sure I'm going to take it back. But they're both in taking losses, and it does to me look right now like the... Uh, like this Union guys are behind, but that might change here pretty soon as 1st Delaware is coming down, but 13 Georgia is now on the road and just shooting them. There's gonna be a lot of guys dropping here. There's a lot of people sitting here just waiting for all these guys down the road. It's still a mass amount of Union guys sitting in this one spot. And there goes the Union cap. They're gonna start to cap here now, but it looks like they stopped. 42nd PA taking the path of shooting through the fences. Not sure what fences they're shooting through. I don't know if they know that there is nothing over here that they are shooting at right now. And they are... If they did adjust their fire a little bit over to the right, they could be killing some uh, guys. I don't think they know they're there, though. There's a good hidden position. Still people in the road. Stuff, but it looks like uh, 13 is still in the river. Hood's division taking the yard uh, behind this house. There's not many guys holding this spot. I think they're trying to reduce casualties over here. But it does look like the Union's gonna fall first if this keeps on going this way. That's probably why they're avoiding the cap. Try to do some casualties. Who's this bus trying to get around the side? I think a lot of his guys have gotten chewed up already by the shooting. Down to three. What is this? Little bits of 15th Wisconsin just coming in and charging hoods, guys. That's a couple of out of line tickets, but here comes A and V and First Delaware. All the reinforcements around this one. 15th Wisconsin, 9th Corps, they're all coming. 
and here comes the CSA finally realizing that they're coming this way. Trying to hold them off best they can. I'm not sure if they will be able to, though. Seems like the Confederates are very spread out here. There goes the uh, Union into breaking. Confederates not far behind, though. I think this charge is going to send the Confederates into breaking as well. There it is. But it does look like CSA comes out on top of that charge. I'm not quite sure how. It looked like the Union was winning it there. Very good charge, but good job on the CSA, I guess. I think they're all going to shoot back to spawn here to get reinforcements back, because they did take a lot of casualties there. So did the Union, and they are behind. Already a piece of them being taken out front and breaking. They need to try not to fall into the stage here. Looks like uh, people want their A-10 called in here. I don't know if, uh, how that's going to work out that well, but we'll, we'll see. Ninth Corps getting back healthy over here. Followed by 15th Wisconsin. Ninth Corps and 15th in pretty much bits and pieces of every regiment. Uh, behind Killer here, taking the side again. I don't know what they're going to shoot at. That private ever committed a little bit. Probably gonna shoot into the spawn over here. I'm not sure if they will take any casualties. But they are waiting for him right outside now. And 15th now collapsing into the other side of it. They're pulling back. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, they're just gonna wait. I think the Confederacy knows, but they are waiting. Oh, and here they come. Lucian coming in. I don't think they're ready for this. Are they? Oh, they were ready for that. Oh, no. And they are just eating away at that. And here comes in Killer and AMV. There goes Killer. And here it comes. Climax of this. And they're getting over the railway. Again, this is the Confederate spawn, so all the reinforcements will be right back into it. And it looks like a hold from the CSA here. There is no Union guys left. That was a great hold by the CSA, but I don't know what the Union really could have done there. They would not have had the reinforcements regardless. And still some people trying to get in. Gareth making a run for it. Will he make it? Will he make it? Nope. <laughs> oh, Scoin's coming in. Looks like he's going to be fine. Maybe. I don't know if he'll make it out of there. I think Scoin's is making it out just fine. But another Union charge on the other side. Again, this is still the Confederate spawn, so them holding here is charge into their face. The majority of them are going to be standing here. Confederates can't take too many losses here. Ninja up front. I think they're just going to try to run over, get a kill, and run back. There you go, final push. One minute left. I, I don't know where the Union is going right now, but it looks like they're taking the far side again. The bus is on the far side. Followed by bits and pieces of pretty much every regiment. But the right side is also looking like it's going to be in charge. They might try to hit him from both sides, but it does not matter as the entire Confederacy leaves the yard all at once in one massive ass charge. Ah, they're gonna meet up with each other though. All in this spot. It is gonna be a team kill mask. I can already feel it, but I don't even know who's winning here. <laughs> who is who? There seems to be maybe more Union flags. 
Even more Union flooding in. I don't know where the rest of the Confederacy is. I think Union is winning this right now. I am not positive. But it looks like the CSA won. Maybe. And there's last stand for the CSA. Oh no. And that's the last charge right there. This is 17 seconds left. They can just rush the point. Just can't let him cap. They need to get in here fast. And there comes the entire CSA. They're just going to run around him. They're going to beat him here. Overtime. One side just needs to cap this point. And who will it be? CSA can't respawn. That is a heavy disadvantage, but... I don't know. This game is so close. And it looks like all CSA on point. I don't see many Indian guys here. Here come the Indian guys. Well, trying to defend here with their team. And CQB also with them. Hoods also. I, I think it's just like... Try to remain and try to cap. Big overtime here, but... That's what's gonna stop them. That's and go right there is... It seems to be happening. And this is just a massacre on this point. There's not enough Confederate guys left. I don't think there's enough. They gotta get on point. There goes... I think the last officer left in the game for the Confederacy. And it was... So close for them, but I don't think they're winning this. Well fought, as here comes A and B guys to kill the remainder. And there goes a sharp on point. I don't know if there is any of them left. There's not seem to be. Looks like this is the game. Union wins. Okay, it's straight up. Oh, there's one left. He's vibing. No, Kimmel. Kimmel, if you kill one, you're chilling. Just get out of here with one kill. Literally just kill one of them. Oh no! Well, good games there. Both the uh, Union and CSA, uh, one and one on the day. Both sides. I'm not sure if this means that the uh, Confederates take Richmond. I think they do. We need. Or no? They have 15 holds Richmond. I'm going to suck someone's killer. cock. I don't know who, but someone. Oh, no. <laughs> and comments from people in game are getting weird. I'm low-key worried. I'm just stroking my shit, man. I'm holding his foot. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it is. PP is very good. And it looks like... This is just a sound word uh, heaven over here. Charge. And these casualties are insane. Oh my god! 894, 891 to 854. Just barely, uh... That was a close one. 20 yeah. casualties difference. 30, like 40 casualties difference. I can count, I promise. Overall, it's GG's on the day. Good games from both sides. That's all for me, though. Talk to y'all later.